Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will find the area of composite figures. A composite figure is a two-dimensional figure made up of basic two-dimensional shapes. To find the area of a composite figure, you must first divide the composite figure into basic shapes. Because you have to be able to find area, you must divide the figure into shapes that you have an area formula for. You'll then find the area of the basic shapes and add the areas together to have the total area of the complete composite figure. Let's take a look at our examples. In this example, I have a figure that looks a bit like a house. It's also a pentagon, but regardless of how you look at it, we don't have a formula to find the area of something that is this shape. And this is where composite area comes in. For composite area, we need to divide this shape into the shapes that we actually have area formulas for. That's going to be the triangle and also the rectangle. So I'm going to solve for the area of the individual pieces and add them together to get a composite area. So let's start with the rectangle. Our formula for the area of a rectangle is area equals length times width. And I'm going to look at the rectangular portion of this figure and I'm going to substitute my length and width into the formula. So the length of the rectangle is 10, so I'll substitute 10 in for L. And the width of the rectangle is 6, so I'll substitute 6 for the W in the formula. Now I can solve for the area of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is 10 times 6, so the area of the rectangle is 60. After solving for the rectangular part, then I need to consider the area of the triangle. I have a formula for the area of a triangle. That formula is area equals 1 half times the base times the height, so I'll need a base and height for the triangle. So if I look at the triangle, I already have the height. The height is here, the 7 meters, but I do need a base. The base is here. So looking at the rectangle, the opposite side of the rectangle is 6, so the base of my triangle also has to be 6. Now that I have the dimensions for the triangle, I can substitute those into the formula and solve for the area. So I'm going to have area equals 1 half times the base of the triangle, which we've already identified as being 6, times the height of the triangle, which is 7. So I'll substitute 6 in for B, 7 in for H, and multiplying by 1 half is the same as dividing by 2. So I'm going to multiply the 1 half by the 6, because 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then I'll still need to multiply by 7. And 3 times 7 is 21. So the area for the triangle portion of this figure is 21. Then I need to find the area of the total composite figure, which means I'll need to add together the area of the rectangular portion to the area of the triangle portion. So I'm going to take the area of the rectangular portion of 60, add it to the area of the triangle, which was 21, for the total composite area. So 60 plus 21 is 81, and I'm working in meters. So my composite area is going to be 81 meters squared. In this example of a composite figure, I have a shape that looks a bit like a sailboat. I see some triangular pieces and a rectangular portion, and I need to find the area of this composite figure. I don't have a formula for something that looks like a sailboat, so I need to find the individual areas. So let's start by looking at the triangular portion. I have a smaller triangle here, and I have a slightly larger triangle right next to it. And when I solve for the composite area, I can find the area of each of these individual triangles, or if you notice, the individual triangles make up one larger triangle. So I would prefer to find the area of the larger triangle that I can combine them into just because that's going to be less steps overall, and less steps means less of a possibility that I make a mistake in calculations. So I'm going to use the larger triangle, and then I also have this rectangular portion of my component composite figure here. So I'll need to find the area of the triangular portion and the rectangle portion. And I'm going to start with the rectangular piece 
the formula for the area of a rectangle is area equals length times width. And in this example, I want to look a little more closely at finding the correct pieces to plug into our formula. So I'm working with this rectangle and L is the length of my rectangle. The length of my rectangle is the longer side of the rectangle. So the length of my rectangle is here, the 12 inches. So I will substitute 12 in for length in my formula. And then the width of my rectangle is the side of my rectangle here, the 4 inches. So I'll substitute 4 in for the W in my rectangle, which gives me area equals 12 times 4. 12 times 4 is 48. So the area of the rectangular portion of my figure is 48. So after solving for that part, then I need to look at the larger rectangle that I, or the larger triangle that I had planned to solve for. And the formula for the area of a triangle is area equals one half base times height. And so I'm going to need a base and a height of the larger triangle that I planned on solving for. So let's start by putting the one half into our formula, and then we need to think about the base. Well, the base is here. The base is the three inches and the five inches. So I'm gonna add those together to get eight inches. So the base of my triangle is eight. So I'll substitute A in for the B in my formula. Then I need the height of my triangle, which they gave me. That's the six inches. So I'll substitute the six in for the H in my formula, which will give me one half times eight times six. And multiplying by a half is the same as dividing by two. So eight divided by two is four, and I'll still need to multiply by the six. So the area for the triangular portion of this composite figure is four times six, and four times six is 24. Now I need to find the total area of this composite figure, and to find the total area of the composite figure, I'll need to add together the rectangular portion and the triangular portion. So the area for the rectangle was 48, and the area of the triangle was 24. So my total composite area is going to be 48 plus 24. And 48 plus 24 is 72, and I'm working in inches, so my total composite area is going to be 72 inches squared. In this example of a composite figure, I have a shape that looks like an arrow. And while I see that there's a triangle and a rectangle there, they didn't divide this shape up for me. And when they do that, you can place your line to divide your composite figure into individual shapes wherever you want. In this example, it makes sense to put the line here and turn this composite figure into the triangle and the rectangle. I'm going to start by finding the area of the rectangle, which is area equals the length times width as my formula. So I'm going to substitute the values of my length and my width in to find the area of the rectangle. And I'm going to use 5 for the length because it's there where the base would be, times 6 for the width because it's there on the side. And I will have area equals 5 times 6 five times six is 30. So the area of the rectangular portion of this composite figure is 30. Then I'll need to find the area of the triangle that I made when I added that dotted line. The area formula for triangle is area equals one half times the base times the height. So I'm going to need a base and a height for this triangle. And the base of my triangle is here. It's the bottom of the triangle, and it consists of this three inches and the three inch portion that we see on the other side, and I still need that middle section. That middle section is part of the rectangle. The opposite side of the rectangle is five, so this side length has to be five, which means my total base of my triangle is three plus five plus three for that whole length of the base and three plus five plus three is 11. So the base of my triangle is 11.
Then I'm going to need the height of my triangle. Well, from the very top of the composite figure to the very bottom of the composite figure is 14 inches. The base of my triangle breaks that composite figure up, leaving me with the six feet that the height of my rectangle was. And then the triangle height has to be the 14 minus the 6 that I already have. So the portion from the base of the triangle to the top of the triangle has to be 8. So now I'm going to substitute the base of 11 in for B and my height of H in for H. So I will have area equals 1 half times 11 times 8 and 11 times 8 is 88. So multiplying by 1 half is the same as dividing by 2. So 88 divided by 2 is 44. So the area of the triangular part of this composite figure is 44. So now I'll need to find the total area of the composite figure, which means I'm going to take the area of the rectangle and the area of the triangle, and I'm going to add those two areas together to give me the total composite area. So I'm going to be adding the 30, which was the area of my rectangle, to the 44, which was the area of my triangle. So 30 plus 44 will be my total composite area. 30 plus 44 is equal to 74. And because I'm working in inches, my composite area will be 74 inches squared. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.